Boom! A fiery rock the size of a skyscraper tore through Earth's atmosphere. It slammed into the ground with unimaginable force and sent shockwaves rippling through the continents. When the chaos finally settled, something strange glimmered on the ground. Shards of glass scattered across southern Australia. But these weren't ordinary shards from your chandelier. They were tectites. That's a fancy name for strange, glassy, pebble-like objects, which are like leftovers from a meteorite impact. Scientists had seen these before. The last batch they found came from a meteor strike that happened about 780,000 years ago, which is already mind-blowing. But this new discovery? Even crazier! These tiny glass pieces seem to be around 11 million years old. And here's the twist. Their chemical makeup didn't match any known impact site. They were totally different, like fingerprints from a stranger. That means they must have come from a completely separate asteroid strike. One so huge, it blasted debris all across the continent. Of course, scientists wanted to find the massive crater that caused all this, but it wasn't as easy as they soon realized the asteroid might not have hit Australia itself. It could have crashed somewhere hidden, maybe deep under the thick rainforest of Southeast Asia, or beneath the rugged mountains of Papua New Guinea. Over millions of years, the Earth's surface shifted, eroded, and transformed, so it could have covered up the crater completely. Yep, it's like finding a needle in a haystack. All that remains today are these mysterious glassy clues, and wow, those tectites are mesmerizing. Some look like tiny drops frozen in midair. Others are stretched and sleek. Their black, shiny surfaces catch sunlight in a way that almost makes them look alive. But these little gems aren't just pretty. Inside them are traces of silicon, aluminum, and iron. It's all evidence of unimaginable heat, the kind that melts solid rock. I mean, molten debris shooting through the air, cooling down into glass before it even hits the ground that kind of heat. That's how powerful the impact was. The bang must have been enormous, and it spread glittering fragments across hundreds of miles, like a cosmic version of confetti. Discoveries like this remind us that Earth has faced more massive asteroid strikes than we once believed. By studying what these tectites are made of, scientists can tell how big the asteroid was, how it hit, and what kind of chaos it caused back then. It's wild to think that the peaceful, sun-baked lands of southern Australia, now home to kangaroos and red dust, were once ground zero for a fiery cosmic impact. If you're waiting for a plot twist where the mystery was solved, I'm sorry. But even with all our fancy satellites and tech, scientists still haven't found the crater. It's like the asteroid hit, left these shiny breadcrumbs behind, and then disappeared without leaving a footprint. Southern Australia now holds these glass shards like a secret diary from millions of years ago, just waiting for humans to piece the story together. Until then, let's visit a couple of impact craters scientists have already pinned down. In the middle of Western Australia, in the ancient Pilbara region, geologists found what might be the oldest impact crater on Earth. It's probably about 2.7 billion years old. Yep, that's billion, with a B. At the time it formed, this gigantic crater would have stretched nearly 60 miles across. Of course, after sitting around for a few billion years, time and weather did their thing. The once sharp crater got worn down and reshaped until it became more like a dome than a bowl. What's left today is called the North Pole Dome, and we can still see about 20 miles of its raised center. To put things in perspective, our planet is around 4.5 billion years old but most of what we know about meteor strikes comes from much younger rocks. You see, over billions of years, erosion, volcanoes, and plate tectonics have recycled and reshaped most of Earth's original surface. So, finding any piece of crust that old and still showing impact scars is like uncovering a fossil from the dawn of time. Between 4 and 2.5 billion years ago, Earth was totally different. It was completely covered in water, and maybe a few lonely bits of land sticking out. Volcanoes were erupting like crazy. Chemicals were swirling in the oceans, and continents were just starting to form. Most of that early crust got destroyed or buried long ago. 
so surviving pieces like this crater are unbelievably rare. Then, about 2 billion years ago, Earth went through a wild snowball Earth phase. Ice stretched from the North Pole all the way to the South Pole. But before that icy chapter, something dramatic had already happened in what's now Western Australia. A meteorite came crashing down. This idea fits perfectly with another theory scientists have, that billions of years ago, space rocks were going after the Moon. And since the Earth is right next door, it probably took just as many hits. We just lost most of the evidence because our planet constantly reshapes itself. So, a research team went out to North Pole Dome to see what they could find. And after just one hour, they struck gold. They discovered something called shatter cones, delicate cone-shaped patterns that form only under the unimaginable pressure of a meteorite impact. You literally can't fake those. Using those shatter cones, the scientists dated the impact to around 3.47 billion years ago. And they think this crater might have been about the same size as the Chicxulub crater in Mexico. The one famous for wiping out the dinosaurs 66 million years ago. That's how massive this ancient strike was. But that's not all. The team also found tiny droplets of molten rock that got blasted into the sky when the meteor hit cooled down midair, and then rained back to Earth. Some of them even landed as far away as South Africa. Scientists are still studying this crater, so let's leave them to it and hop to our next destination, the North Sea, or more precisely, under it. There has been this mysterious dent in the Earth hiding under layers of rock for millions of years, about 80 miles off the coast of Yorkshire. The crater is almost two miles wide, Scientists first found it back in 2002, called it the Silver Pit Crater, and ever since, it's been the geological equivalent of a true crime mystery. Was it caused by an asteroid slamming into Earth, or was it something more boring, like shifting salt beds or an ancient volcano that just sneezed? For 20 years, experts argued about it, but now, after two decades of back and forth, researchers finally cracked the case, and the asteroid team wins. Turns out, something from outer space carved out Silver Pit more than 40 million years ago. A research team used super detailed 3D seismic imaging, which is basically Earth's version of an MRI. And they also took old drill cuttings from an oil well from the 1980s. When they put all the data together, they saw the signature shape of an impact crater. It has a raised middle, a ring of broken rock, and even little mini craters left by debris that flew back down after the hit. The cracks in the rocks were stretched apart on one side and squished on the other. It was proof that the asteroid came in at an angle, not a straight shot. Microscopic quartz grains from the drill samples sealed the deal. Under the microscope, they had these weird crisscrossed scars that only form under insane pressure. I don't envy anyone who gets hit by something moving at 9 miles per second, and that's exactly what happened to our planet. Scientists think the impact happened sometime between 43 and 46 million years ago. Back then, the world was warmer and the oceans teemed with life. So you can imagine the chaos it must have caused, though thankfully, no dinosaurs were around to worry about it. They'd been gone for 20 million years by then. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.